Dear Kodak Black, shut the fuck up and stay in jail. What's going on YouTube? You already know who it is. Back at another video for you guys today. So, it's Thursday. Pretty much the end of the week. Thank God, right? And, you know, I didn't plan on making no videos today, but you got one today. So, this video is a little bit more serious. It's not a reaction video. If you don't want to watch it and, and you can see the title, I suggest you click off, especially for you Kodak Black ass fans out there. You know what I'm saying? If you don't you don't like what I'm finna say, because this is not this is not me like man stroking or nothing like that, Kodak Black. None of that. So I suggest you click off and you know, go on about your business and go play his music somewhere. So, you know, I had to just give Snapchat, not Snapchat. The Shade Room, a break, because all they do is post the Kardashians and ignorant ass shit on there, you know what I'm saying, during a time such as this. As So So Madame would say, go shout out, go subscribe to her channel, Fame vs. Sacrifice. Um, anyway, so I was just scrolling, seeing what they had on there not too long ago, and there's a new post. I didn't know who it was from at first. It was a picture of Lupita Nyong'o, all right, and Zendaya. All right, everybody knows these two at this point, and they went like a photo shoot together. It was a very nice picture, you know. And Kodak Black posted this picture, and in the caption he said, "Me and Bay." Give you that one more again. He said, "Me and Bay." So basically, him implying that he's Lapita, obviously, and him with Zendaya. So basically, you know, trying to say she looks like a man or like something about her is masculine or something. And mind you, Lupita Nyong'o, to me, she's a very beautiful black, who's that? She's a beautiful black woman, okay? Sindea, she is a beautiful woman as well. However, you know, before I get on that, Kodak, your ugly ass, your ugly ass. And got don't look nowhere, nothing like Lupita. Okay. And I mean that in the best way because Lupita is beautiful. You are not. Okay. Your ass, you look like, and I'm about to say it, some of y'all are well. Matter of fact, I'm turning the comments off because some of y'all will literally go up in here and defend this motherfucker and call me all types of shit. But you know what? Fuck y'all because some of y'all ignorant asses, y'all, y'all new type of black folks. But we're gonna get on that in a minute. Hold on. And, and and by the way, we about three minutes in. This video might get a little lengthy. So if you don't want to watch, like I said, click the fuck off and move the fuck on. Click the fuck off. You look like a human produced roach with them shit turds in your head. And you got the nerve to sit up and try to downgrade and degrade Lapita. Okay, the way you doing, the way you have been doing dark skinned women for quite a while now. Oh, I ain't forgot, bitch. Okay, that's why your ass can't can't stay out of jail now, cause you always doing some fuck shit or saying some fuck shit. Typical nigga shit though. Typical nigga shit. You always going on these rants and making fucking uh talking shit about dark skinned women. You were the same motherfucker. You was in your car, whatever the fuck your ugly ass was doing. Talking about some. You don't like black bitches. You like yellow hoes. You ain't even. You ain't even respecting neither one no way. Cause you can't even call the yellow hoes women. You gotta say yellow hoes. That's what's wrong. That's nothing wrong with you niggas. Now you can't even refer to a woman as a woman. You gotta call her a bitch. But let a white, a white redneck motherfucker call you a nigger, you be ready to fight. Or you be ready to shoot a motherfucker, right? Hmm. And you know what? That is fine. Cause and not to mention any woman, especially the women that you prefer, because y'all love using that word. It's a preference. It's a pre Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. You they low key paying doing your ass a favor because you are not cute. Okay, like I just said, you look like some type of bugged out bug-eyed motherfucker okay you are not cute you ain't no idris elba you ain't no kofi cerebo cerebo whatever his last name is you ain't none of them niggas because some of you niggas because like we all know in this community we appraise the fuck out of dark i could appreciate any race of a man i could i find all people beautiful men women whatever however 
We still on this light skin, dark skin bullshit. I'm going to get on that shit too in a minute. But your ass, you were the same motherfucker that said light skin girls are more easy to break down. Why in the fuck you got to break your girl down? Why? What the fuck is that about? Come on, dark skin girls are aggressive and all that. And you're not the only one. Kevin Hart done said some shit. Lil Wayne done said some shit. Chris Brown, the rest of you old self hating ass niggas. Self hate comes in all fucking shades. Whether you're light, dark, brown, in the middle, what the fuck ever. And it's getting on my damn nerves. Thing is, how in the fuck do your ass even have a phone? That you mean tell me y'all motherfuckers is that damn privileged in jail to where you can fucking make a post like that on Instagram? Bitch, serve your motherfucking sentences. Go eat you a damn rotten ass salami sandwich and go fucking clean them toilets and shit in the fucking cells and shit. Worry about that. Worry about not getting your booty popped, okay, with a bar of soap while you over here trying to make jokes and shit about Lupita. And then he gonna get in the comments saying, talking about some stop reaching, no disrespect. Yes, the fuck you is, nigga. Oh, yes, I'm going there today. And like I said, you don't like what the fuck I say. You could click the fuck off, motherfucker. Because you probably old ignorant ass colorist, too. Every damn time with you niggas. You niggas in this hate for black women. And you came out of one, bitch. You came out of a black woman. Huh? Half of you motherfucker, half of you niggas, okay? Half of you niggas demonetized, but I don't care. Half of you niggas wouldn't last a day dealing with the shit that women go through. That monthly friend, that monthly red slip note friend, pregnancies, health shit that women, a lot of women go through. Y'all couldn't do it. But you want to talk shit about women and what they need to do with their bodies and all that. Half of y'all don't even want to go to the doctor and get your balls checked when you need to. Get your ass checked when you need to and want to tell a woman what to do and how to do it. Shut the fuck up. But that's for another conversation. Let me get back on this colorism shit. Colorism, in case you dumb motherfuckers don't know what it is or act like you don't know, but you know, but you don't want to talk about it. Colorism is basically the offspring of racism. You know what I'm saying? Colorism is brought into this community, black amongst black people, Asian people, Indian people, from what I've heard, and Latin people. But I'm talking about this community in specific because... I think we the worst of them all because from slavery with the whole house nigga field nigga shit, you know, the fair skinned slaves and shit, whether they was mixed or just light skinned, black light skinned folk, they was in a house doing, you know, the, the cooking and all that, serving the white, the white slave owners and all that and they women. Meanwhile, the, the niggas that's probably my complexion or darker was out in the fields working in the hot ass sun, picking cotton all day, probably getting chased by a dog or two. And then... When slavery was somewhat over, because some of us are still slaves today, bitch. We bought that shit in our own damn community with this whole light skin, dark skin bullshit. And in my opinion, dark skinned women go through it the most. I see it every damn time. Y'all make fun of dark skinned women, you insult them, you degrade them, and every fuck thing else. I've heard it amongst people at when I was in school. I've heard fucking insults in my family about dark skin and all this nappy this, nappy that ugly this, ugly that y'all sound ignorant as fuck if you think you're pretty for a dark skin girl is a compliment wrong you're saying oh, for because you know dark skin you're pretty for a dark skin girl because oh, cause, you know dark skin girls, they ain't that cute what? are you fucking stupid? Are you fucking ignorant? Clearly the fuck you are. And nigga, you talking shit about a woman that has the same complexion as your dumb ass. So what does that say about you? You clearly have a, pro a problem with yourself. You clearly have a problem with yourself. Self-hate is real. Self-hate is real. Look it up. Look the shit up if you think I'm fucking lying. You talking shit about the same you talking shit about the complexion that your ass has. So, but what, you don't, you insecure about your own damn skin complexion, which is why you upraise people that's lighter than you, especially when it comes to the opposite sex. Okay? You done seen it in damn shows, TV, uh, uh, cartoons and shit, movies, all that. Martin and Gina. Oscar and Trudy from Proud Family. They do it in cartoons too. 
the fucking commercials. I seen one commercial. Let me tell you what this was. So it was supposed to be a family commercial. Husband and wife and two kids. The father and the son, they was fully black. The mother and daughter, they was mixed. Or they looked mixed at least. Because they make it seem like, oh, dark-skinned black women and dark-skinned little girls, they ain't that cute. So we don't want them on a TV screen. So we going to find all the racially ambiguous looking ass women out here. Or if they black, they're going to be super light bright. And they could damn near pass. Some of them can pass for white. Because quiet as it's kept, some of you niggas, y'all ain't going to admit it because you know you ain't shit and you never will be probably. Some of y'all niggas, y'all be the same, the same ones that was making fun of Blue Ivy and her nappy hair. Nappy hair. Mm-hmm. Because we still talking about some nappy hair and good hair and all that. Bitch, when you keep your hair up, when your hair is fucking grown, when you got edges and all that shit, and you go to the fucking salon and get your hair cut and washed and all that, that's what you call good hair. Healthy hair is good hair. Not how loose your curl is and how smooth it is because you've been so mind fucked by other dumbass niggas and racist ass white people to where this whole nappy hair and good thing is. A, nappy hair and good hair is a thing. And y'all be out here telling y'all kids this and they grow up insecure as hell and they grow up being colorist and talking about, oh, I got good hair and all that. Shut the fuck up. Because see if one of these racist ass police officers don't give a damn if you got good hair. Okay. One of you dumb ass niggas out here that be ready for all the support you can get if you be wrongfully done by the police or by the law in general. But on a regular basis, you talk shit about black women all damn day long, and I'm sick of it. Let me go back to this colorism thing. Call that black. The bottom line is you need to shut your ugly ass up. You ain't cute. Do you need to cut them damn turds out your fucking head? You look better when you was skinny, and motherfucker, you look better when you had a fucking haircut. That's what's wrong with you, nigga. Y'all niggas got that damn jungle fever type of mentality. Want to walk here, want to walk around looking like motherfucking jungle men and shit that ain't had haircuts and looking like you've been on the ghetto version of Castaway. Hmm? Hmm? Because let me tell you something. I see, and as far as this is community, this community is concerned. When it comes to black people and then black women, let me get on y'all first. Because I'm a female, I am a black woman, so I'ma speak on black women first. We'll get to y'all niggas later. When I see black women of all shades, I'm here for it. But let me tell you something in specific. When I see dark skinned black women, I see beauty. Okay, I'm glad I ain't out here doing that dumbass colorist said because there's some colorist bitches out there too. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, honey. Oh, yes. I get on y'all asses too because y'all ain't shit either. And it's a damn shame. And for all the real black men out there, shout out to y'all. This don't concern y'all. I'm talking about you old colorist ass niggas out there that be talking about dark skinned girls and shit. And your mamas, your sisters, your grandmamas. Your great grandmamas, your aunties, female cousins, ancestors. You want to tell them that you don't like your dark skin and you don't like it on them either? Go take that up with God and see how, see how far you get with that. Some of us have the most beautiful shade of melanin and we don't appreciate it. I appreciate mine. I do. I do. But some of y'all will just never get it. And some of y'all have that same mentality that his dumb ass got. Y'all so busy worrying about what black women doing and why they so dark and you so dark and you pretty for a dark skinned girl and you ugly this and you ugly that and you got nappy hair you wear weaves. Meanwhile, your ass can't stay out of fucking jail. You can't keep your penis out of all these random ass girls having all these damn babies. Future. Flavor Flav. The rest of you niggas with all these baby mamas and babies. Hmm? Now take that to the bank and cast that damn check. Shout out to Nene Lease. Oh, she just hating because you light skinned. You sound stupid as fuck. And this is nothing against the light skinned folks, okay? For y'all get for you super sensitive ass motherfuckers that don't listen. That don't listen. 
to listen instead of listening to react or to respond. As a wise man said, King of Reese, go check his channel out. And you see me, I've been noticing this shit for a long time. I've even heard somebody say to me, they don't like black girls. I'm like, what you mean you don't like you don't like dark skinned girls? And that's and this person said yes. I'm like, oh, okay. Because at that time, I didn't know what, what that meant, you know, all that that going back and forth, this whole light skin, dark skin shit was. And what it what is it? Colorism. And it is heavily in this community still. Because a lot of y'all, because they're not me. I can appreciate black people of all shades as long as they ain't on no colorist bullshit. Then I'm going to call your ass out because I get annoyed with that bullshit. If it's one thing I can't stand, I can't stand racist, sexist, uh, damn sure no colorist, ignorant ass people, that's for sure. The bottom line is some of y'all need to look deep within y'all selves and get that self-hate out of y'all. It might take a long time, but some of y'all need to get y'all shit together. Because some of y'all are straight trash with that shit. We don't have time for colorism. And like I said, some of y'all that be talking shit about Blue Ivy and how she look like her daddy basically trying to say she look ugly because y'all can call Jay-Z ugly as hell because he don't have European-like features. He's black. What you expect? He got a big nose, big lips. That's what black people, a lot of black people look like. If you don't like it, take that up with your ancestors and take that up with God and see how see how see how good that goes. See how good that goes. See how that goes for you. Mm -hmm. The bottom line is y'all y'all be the same ones that's talking about blue ivy and black children in general, but yet turn around and praise Kim and Kanye. Excuse me, Kim and Kanye's kids, mixed kids, pretty much because just like how a lot of white women fetishize. Sleeping with black men and white men fetishize sleeping with black women. A lot of you niggas, a lot of black people fetish mixed children. I'm not saying all for people who for, for some black people who do have mixed kids. I'm not saying that for all of y'all. But for the for the ones that do, I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. So say what you want. Like I said, if you a Kodak black ass fan, oh the fuck well, this ain't me trying to be on his side with it. You was wrong. You ain't shit. And that's why your ass in jail now because you do nigga shit. Okay, clearly. This taking me back to what was that last year when Chris Brown, he talking about some he only like bitches with black bitches with the nice hair. Basically the Karuchi look. I mean, we all see what, what type of girl Chris Brown like. And y'all still support his ass. I can I can listen to his music, but that don't mean I'm gonna be at his concerts. You know what I'm saying? That's all I can say. But yet this nigga, he over here dying his hair blonde every chance he can get, bleaching it down like a pond because he low key want to be a white man. I would think. Oops, I said it. Are you Chris Brown? You super fans out there? Ooh, get triggered. I don't care. Cause y'all ain't gonna call him out on shit like that. But I will. That's all I got. You don't like what I said? Oh, well. I'm speaking the real shit. This colorism shit. And motherfucker, you, the last thing you need to be worrying about is black girls and their complexion. Meanwhile, your ass is in jail with this going on. Y'all know what I'm talking about? The vid. The code. COVID. So, I plan on doing some old, you know, let's talk videos and stuff, letting out shit on my chest, and yeah, in the future. So, hey, if you like this video, if you agree with me, you know what I'm saying? If you ain't with this colorist shit, hit the like button. Go ahead. If you don't, you can dislike it. I don't care. I appreciate either one. But the bottom line is colorism is real and so is self-hate. A lot of niggas, y'all don't realize y'all have it. Nope, you don't. But I'm going to get on out of here. 
if you made it to the end of this video like I said and if you agree with me okay hit that like button hit that subscribe button too plan on doing more videos like these it may not be so serious all the time but if some old shit like this happens I might speak on it I just might cause I'm over this whole color and shit and uh yeah thank you for watching it's been another Taylor Rain production I'll see y'all tomorrow I'm out